Hi, my name is Uriah Shablan. I am seven years old, and I want to know what are some vocal warm ups I could do at home. Some vocal exercises to keep you healthy vocally. Mm. There's one that I really love that I do with my um, with my voice students. It's called the lip trill, also known as motorboat to my students. <laughs> From me, because it sounds like a motorboat. And it goes something like this. You just put your lips together and you blow air through them. And you can go up and down, up and down. Ready? So it's really fun. It gets a little itchy on your lip, but that's just part of it. So that is a very safe way to do a vocal exercise. And you can do like an entire song. You can sing an entire song through lip trills. Yeah, and that's a very safe way to sing a song. It'll help focus your voice really well. Without music class or production, what are some things I could do on home or online to keep my internet and musical theater going? Well, funny you should say that because Gate VPA Theater, um, that's Gate Gifted and Talented Education Visual Performing Arts Theater, is going to be doing something for Christmas. We actually have something that's going to go on online, and you can send in your videos uh, and join us for that. Well, but there's going to be some direction, so check us out on IG, Instagram, on our Instagram, Guam Gate Theater. That's G G. T, okay? Guam Gate Theater. And you can find out information on how to join us. You can also check us out on Facebook once again. Guam Gate Theater. That's Guam first, Gate then Theater. There's a couple others out there, but we don't use that anymore. So uh, make sure you check us, uh, us out on social media to find out how to join us. There's, um, we're going to be having so much fun. So how else can you keep your interest up with with musical theater check out all the musicals that are out there they're online they're on youtube they're on um, uh, disney plus there's disney movies that are all musicals so keep watching those and keep your interest up what's your favorite musical well god there's so many musicals that are out there Hmm, one of them that I saw on Broadway that I really, really loved was Wicked. And it is the backstory of the Wicked Witch of the West and the Good Witch of the North from, from The Wizard of Oz, the movie The Wizard of Oz. And um, it, you get to see how they grow up. And you get to kind of like understand why they are the way they were in the movie, in The Wizard of Oz movie. And you get to see them in a different light because, you know, Sometimes we get to we judge people too quickly and that's what the story is about in Wicked So maybe we shouldn't be judging people too fast and that's a great lesson to learn. So check that out. All right. Thank you